I am Gregory, and this is Pensane. On the table. It is that time of the month. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. <laughs> so this is the uh, Ink Journal Ink Flight for December 2022. And I loved the last one so much. I discovered some great inks, got some nice Japanese paper, and a cool sticker. So I'm I'm very excited to see uh, what's going to be in this December 2022 ink flight. So without further ado, <laughs> uh, and by the way, be sure to go to inkjournal.com. So if you want to check this out. Very, very excited. Now, <laughs> I am going to spare you this time of um, from <laughs> from using the chipmunk voice. Um, I'll just pan this slowly and then you can pause as necessary. Yeah that has the contents on there. There are the inks. Ooh. Smile Cat Ink Swatch Cards. Very interesting. They're essentially business cards. Very interesting. Uh, made by uh, Waringal. That is very cool. It might end up being a giveaway. Oh, I love this. I love this sticker. Oh my goodness. <laughs> a hippo in an ink bottle. Oh man. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. This is the Endless Creative Block Tear-Off Notepad. Very cool. I've actually been, been seeing these, so it's really cool to actually have one now. And this Endless brand, supposedly the paper is very fountain pen friendly. So, a little information on that. Very cool. I'm really excited for that. Okay, this is actually really cool. I have been extremely curious about Ferris Wheel Press inks, and that's what these are. Very, very cool, two thumbs up. So, um, just quickly going over them. So Ferris Wheel Press, Velvet Ballet, Spruce County Post, Pumpkin Patch, Little Robinia, Peter Moss, Edward's Garden, and Stroke of Midnight. Very, very cool. And of course, we're going to do some swatching. All right, so first up we have Little Robinia. And I assume these need a little shaking. Next up is Edward's Gardens. Oh, oh. Yeah, I might be buying that one. I think I have to buy it now, it's on my finger. <laughs> Next up is Stroke of Midnight. That is another good one. Then we have Pumpkin Patch. I like it, but do I really need another orange ink? <laughs> then we have the Velvet Ballet. I was not expecting that color actually. Peter Moss, looks like. And 
And the last one, Spruce County Post. Okay, so two of these are must-haves, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, just stunning, absolutely stunning, and hopefully you can pick it up. So the first one, let's just go through and, and yeah, give my thoughts. Uh, Little Robinia. It's a pretty color, but I suspect that would look horrible in a pen. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it's very, very light. Very light. That is the best one of the bunch, hands down. Edwards Gardens. Oh my goodness. Wow. You have some crazy, oh my, <laughs> oh, hopefully you can pick that up because there's some shimmer, there's some sheen, there's like three colors going on in there. That is stunning. If that was a diamine ink, that would totally be worthy of the ink vent calendar, but it's Ferris wheel press and I am impressed. <laughs> That is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I will be buying that. This is the, the runner-up, definitely. There's not quite as much going on, but you still have shimmer and, I believe, some sheen in there. Another stunning one. Oh my goodness. And that is Stroke of Midnight. Excellent. Excellent. I'm, I will probably be getting that one as well. Now... I love my orange inks, but I have at least three inks that are roughly similar to that. So that's not gonna happen. Plus this one, I don't know. It seems very uh, trans transparent, translucent. So I don't know. It doesn't seem very, well, I don't know. I can't say it doesn't seem saturated because it's, it's quite bright. But anyway, a nice orange ink, but not for me. Uh, and that was uh, Pumpkin Patch, by the way. Um, then we have uh, the Velvet Ballet, which kind of surprised me. It's kind of a, a maroon... Um, there, ah, there's a better word for that color. Uh, I almost had it. Anyway. Falling somewhere between red and brown and purple. <laughs> and there's some, some sheen to it. Hopefully you can pick that up. Very nice. That um, that'd probably be my fourth pick. Then we have Peter Moss. This color is right in my wheelhouse. Sort of a tea colored green. But honestly, I have I have enough greens that are that shade. So as much as I love it. Um, that I don't see a need for it. Now this, on the other hand, the uh, Spruce County Post, that I could do, but I don't know, compared to these other inks. It has hints of, of shading there, but compared to the other inks, it seems kind of flat. So... But wow, okay, there were two definite winners in this batch. So, you know, it's still a, a great, great selection of inks. I mean, I, 
I really enjoy six out of seven of these. This one just doesn't do anything for me. It's it's like watercolors, basically. Um, and I, I don't want to write with watercolors. <laughs> but the others are, are all very good. Uh, oh, pretty much in my wheelhouse, actually. But those two, uh, that's um, Edwards Gardens and Stroke of Midnight. Those are the winners. All right, well, the kittens are getting into mischief, but I do want to show you this. This is, this is beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. That's part of the fun of doing these, these swatches. You get a nice mix of colors here. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, I do want to say, I will, I, I honestly don't, these are really cool, don't get me wrong. But I don't see a need for these in, you know, in my process. Um, so I will be giving these away. Uh, this time, all you have to do is drop a comment down below that says, I want the Ink Swatch cards. And you'll be entered in the drawing. Uh, you can check the, the description for the deadline. It's probably going to be just a week from the day this video releases. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. But I am keeping the sticker. That is very cool, I love that. I love that. <laughs> anyway, this has been really, really cool. And let's not, not forget this, my goodness. What a great selection of stuff. There we go. Finally got everything in the shot, sort of. <laughs> anyway, this has been the Ink Flight for December 2022. I am going to keep going with this. I absolutely love it. And the cats are out of control now. So <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time.